She's just gonna look like a Kitsune from now on, huh? Onwards. Well, I'm sure they mean us some harm, right? Bow. Once we see three bow. Low on buffs. Um, let's delay until after pull. Three attacks down too. Yeah, but he's got no six. Nice. Blur on Wolgif. <laughs> Is the tin pit points not coming off like at all? Distract them for me. The sea deck. Is Hulk not close enough? Shape nice. Hey, one. Close enough, really. Time to shoot. He still doesn't get to see that. Oh, look at it now, all of a sudden. Whatever. I don't understand how that works. Come to my camp if you want to talk. I have much to share with you, a friend. Drawing this note is a spot on the map, huh? 
interesting. spot on the map's gonna be. Ooh, back behind that this one. Hide it. You can go you can continue past it. Let's rest. By the way, did you know that the amount of money in an individual's possession is directly proportional to the number of secrets that individual is hiding? <laughs> what? A most intriguing observation. I say, let's try to guess the secrets my cousin Galfrey is hiding. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Oh boy, though. Any cuts through the ground like an open sore, uneven stones, closer cover of pits, and coffins of the cankered skin of a leper. In the depths of the covers, there are dark burrows leading somewhere deep into the earth. Is this a place we can go? Okay, we hadn't quite made it there, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, wait first. Armor hasn't got army hasn't gotten more. Yep. Ooh, but this is here now. Mercenaries. Interesting. Mercenaries work. Like, do you have to continue paying them, or is it a one-time fee? They're expensive, but we have enough resources. Doesn't say anything about an upkeep cost. Now it's good. Day 5, month Rova, year 4715. Danger and distress have rest heavy upon the scales, their measure soaring on the dangerous march to Dresden. The army moves steadily along the bank of the West Sullen, scarred with canyons and ravines. Suddenly a group of scouts returns, and Nevia, the leader of the group, makes two urgent signs to the soldiers, wait and quiet. She dashes through the ranks to the commander who awaits her report. We're in trouble, the girl whispers. The road ahead is split by a canyon. To get the Dresden, we'll have to go down and then up the other side. The canyon is swarming with foul creatures, vescovores, a real pain in the neck. They won't shy away from our soldiers' weapons, and they've already managed to gobble someone up. Looked like a caravan of refugees from Canabras that lost its way. No one's ever reported vescovore so far from the center of the world wound. Where did they come from? Nevia bites her lip. They still haven't noticed us. 
That won't hold true for long. Maybe if we retreat quietly. Commander makes a sign for her to stop. Find out what else is known about the enemy. These nasty little critters, they can ruin your gear. They drive you nuts with their buzzing. Nevia says in a rush, they've got a queen, the mother of the whole swarm. She's a right horror, but if we kill her, the bulk of the swarm will scatter. And we'll take care of the rest of them somehow. After hearing the scout's report, Commander prepares to convene the council to determine a plan of action. The commander and his companions convene the field council. The army cannot march around the obstacle, for there is no other road. Retreat is far too risky. Should the swarm notice the army and catch it out in the open, no one would survive. None utters the word trap, but fear hangs in the air. A swarm of om omnivorous beasts just happens to be in the army's path. Someone has arranged for this, for their own nefarious ends. Rustling, grating, squeaking, humming, everyone hears the voice of the swarm through the sky before the army remains clear. Though the sky before the army remains clear. For now. How long until it's darkened by a flying swarm of the abyss? An idea, a decision, straight and sharp like a sol soldier's sword, appears in their minds. The Crusader Council grows grim. One unit must act as live bait to lure the swarm out of the canyon and clear the path for the Vestibor Queen. The commander will rush the monster, killing her quickly before the swarm decimates the army. They will give her one chance. The dark question looms who will lead the fateful squad and be consumed as bait. In moments of extreme stress, one often says one thing while meaning another. These hidden words often reveal many a curious thing. And what do we see here? Irabeth nobly states, I am an officer best suited for the mission, but in truth she means I cannot burden another with my responsibility. Oh, send me, Nura, the historian, emerges from the unex with an unexpected suggestion from behind the commander's back. This is just the sort of situation where ingenuity and knowledge of the enemy will be more useful than swords and armor. While she speaks, she thinks, I need to prove myself. Look into the faces of your companions. The one who will distract the swarm will need a healer. Social is the only one who speaks plainly. The healer might bring a few through the best cavores alive. The rest of the council remains silent. The silence is filled by a chorus of ease. There are others better suited. The commander needs me alive. Does the commander hear the words unspoken? What will they lead him to decide? The fateful truth will be led by... Hmm. Those he was actually a party member. Uh, that is rough. Uh... Nero. The commander and his party disappear among the rocks, preparing to slip down into the canyon while the swarm is distracted by their bait. A tight lift to Nevia shows the way. Behind them, the final preparations are being made. Here's what we'll do. Nura instructs the soldiers. We'll approach the precipices, stomping and banging our swords against our shields. We'll get the swarm's attention as quickly as possible. Passion burns in her eyes, and her lips curve into a smile of satisfaction. The soldiers tread fearfully down the road towards the dark edge of the canyon ahead. The rift that yawns open... Who wore them whispers, rasps, rattles, and thousands upon thousands of voices. Vescavores gather below, but the sky is open above them, and the flying creatures might rise up and attack at any moment. The soldiers soon find their first body, a mangled corpse of a refugee from Canavras, a few strangling, Vesc strangling Vescavores wriggle inside the dead man's gaping chest. Tiny larvae and greenish shells are shuffling, all shuffling legs and hinging jaws. They don't seem menacing at all. But then the rasping noise stops for a moment. A high vibrating note pierces the air with new force. A blur, blackish green cloud rises above the canyon. The swarm has taken the bait. Time to act has come. The leader of this faithful squad shouts that they shall... Scatter! Nura swift and fleet is splendid at the chase. Dodging from place to place, diving into inconspicuous cracks between stones, she gracefully avoids the vestibores, but her soldiers are not as nimble, and their armor not but a burden. The whispering, screeching song of the extra, extra planar vestibores clouds the mind and foils any escape from the creature's jaws. The warriors fall one by one, screaming in pain while their friends scattered across the area are too far away to aid them. Cries of agony rise up from the rocks, filling the soldiers' hearts with horror. The rasping, mumbling, and buzzing of the swarm paralyzes the soldier's will. The poisonous mandibles cut through armor and bone. 
The swarm could only scour an entire s the swarm could scour an entire city from the face of Galarian. These modest forces present no obstacle. No matter what strategy the mortals choose, it's impossible to resist the eternal hunger of the abyss. Vescavores are its embodiment. No malevolent mind or terrible monster, but a million of a half-sentient creatures who know no goal but destruction. An effective weapon for those prepared to trade fertile soil for wasteland. A chance yet remains for the commander to save his people, at least some portion. What will the commander decide? Or the leader decide? Oof. Good lord. Get our girl back. You can obviously gotta level up. Camille! Camellia! Camille. <laughs> Alright, Camellia. More spirit hunter in you. I would like some time to collect myself. Have you not rested? Why are you that sound? She's getting a feat. I would love certain abilities, but I want to get out flank because she's always up there with our boy and he already has it and it's useless until someone else gets it. But her and Hulk have out flank now. She's fatigued, which really sucks. Worn body. It's personal. Greater false life. A bad spell. Um, fine power. Plus one luck bonus, attack rolls, weapons, advantage rolls, strength checks, strength based checks for every three caster levels you have. The plus two already. And 10 pit points per caster level. An additional attack when you make a full... Yeah. That's just really, really good. It's for her only, but I mean, she's gonna be up in the front. She can use it. Um... Especially some energy communal will be really good. For now, I think just find power today. She's got, yeah, she, we, we got her, um, abundant casting, so. Um, grab a delay poison communal in case we need it. Resist energy communal in case we need it. It's ten minutes and an hour, okay. All lightning would be good for things that don't have lightning resist. Honestly, it's hard to think the call is any better than anime dead. <laughs> um, I'm gonna test more if Barskin will stack. I think we found out Barskin didn't stack with his stuff, but I think it might stack with hers. Um, you got bull string. I 
I tried bark skin on Volgit too. Yeah, crap this guy again. Oh, whatever. Pilot Mike, are you a real person or are you I'm just checking because like you're just because of the timing? You say hi, Pilot? Because I'm going to ban all those Oz people. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the notifications real quick because it's just going to spam it. One second. All right, that was fun. I'm gonna do this every night now, I guess. Yeah, cure moderate wouldn't hurt. Pictures ally two gives bites. Remove paralysis and this comes up. I don't know. Um. Golden Dragon. I kind of like to rest and fix up Camellia before we go in here. I guess we're going to be fine. Yeah. Let's buff. So, if, okay, let's see. Her AC is 27. Four vets from natural armor. I'm curious if bark skin stacks. Let's try it. It does. Because this is natural armor enhancement. That's the difference. So it stacks with natural armor. It doesn't stack with our natural armor enhancement from the amulet. But it does stack with natural armor. So that puts her up to 30. How about you? You have natural armor enhancement from an amulet, but it's only one. Let's give you... I wish I could just tell them, hey, just put these buffs on every day, you know? Skip the pleasantries. Ask nicely. Missed me already. I'll watch your back. Oh, 
If you'd be able to say, just like, go put on all these buffs, because we're going to use them every single time. <laughs> Spots of light and shadow dance along the walls of the canyon. High up above your head, a swarm gathers, dark as a rain cloud. There are so many vestibores that block out the sun. Luckily, you've escaped the attention of the swarm, which is focused upon the truth you're using as bait, for now at least. With a tired gesture, Nevia wipes the sweat and dust from her forehead. There's anxiety in her eyes. Commander, the beast we've come for is on the other end of the main corridor. There's a lot of burrows and plenty of beasts in them. But you're better. you better not delve too deep. My people won't hold out long enough for to clear the whole area. On the other hand, I saw the bodies of some poor caravanners down this one of the side holes. They've some, they have some valuable stuff on them. The bugs will eat anything we don't grab. They can't tell the difference between flesh and steel. <coughs> oh, wait, wait. So they're eating all the treasure while we're standing around talking? What are we hanging around for? Come on, we got no time to lose. I see a street rat that's willing to crawl into anything for a shiny coin, a disgusting cesspit, a beehive, the mob discarding himself, even up Baphomet's rear end. Did you manage to find out where they came from? I'm not sure, but there are clear signs of a ritual closer to the Queen, Bug Queen Bug's lair, and they're fresh. Maybe someone summoned the scum, especially for us. The demon filth figured out we're never going to... We're never going to let Canabras go. Too bad we don't have a magic specialist who could figure out what runes mean. What those runes mean. Hmm. Can you tell me anything useful about the monster? I've never fought these before. I don't know much. She's a nasty beast. She spits acid and summons her spawn from all around the area. One more thing. When I tried to get closer, I started to feel sick as a dog. I guess, like a lot of demons, she knows how to get inside your head. Let's move. as a dog. I wonder if play poison might be a good idea. Wonder. Smile. That last? The world's not ending just yet. Mm. Neutralized poison. Who likes to leave poison? Too? So it is restless. I oh, she why has it, doesn't she? But it's not. Oh, I can get it back. It lasts for an hour. There's an auto buff mod. I lead, you follow. Crusading isn't that boring after all. All right, best more swarms, of course. What can you tell me about the swarm? Immune to crits, poison, precision damage, spells of the target, has physical damage from slashes. There's just halves. Okay. I wonder how much HP it has. It has fire and electricity resistance. What the heck? Um, we have so many more attacks now, it's great. I think mean, Hulk has like five attacks now. Because he has improved two up in fighting and plus six base attacks. He has plus six, plus one, offhand, offhand. And he also has a gore attack. From being all demonic so that's all good i don't think we can sleep it because that's like a single target thing so how do you do selective spell with um yeah is it this dot how do you do selective spell with a uh spontaneous caster is the dotted ones the ones you can make selective? How do you do it? it makes sense because they're the ones that can take your party. Burning hands, Twitter dust, web. How do you add um meta magic to your ability? Bottom left. Bottom left of what?
Oh, down here. I see it. Ooh. Interesting. I want to make a like, web that's selective. The third level spell now. Great spell. Let's go. Cool. That's cool. I'm not using it right now. I just wanted to do it. Thank you. Let's see if these swarms have been gimped like the other ones were. Like, none of the swarm. Ever since they did the bug, bug fix that made swarms stop hitting constantly in turn base, they don't seem to hit at all. Like, it seems like. Like, like swarms just don't even attack anymore in my game. Beg me to stop. Gotta make the Vesca Wars easy. Like, no, I mean, literally, I, like, since they did the change, like, rat swarms, like, don't hurt me and don't nauseate me either. They literally do nothing since that patch. Like, so I'm, 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 I'm assuming I'm not even going to get confused, but we'll see. Cover me, all right? Yeah! I'll cut you wide open. I'll make short work of this. Yeah, five attacks. Like he needs them. Onwards. An aura of confusion. Save the last one for me. How can you do con damage to the storm? I don't know how that works. Let's hear you cry. You see, like they're doing nothing to me. I'm not making any saves or anything. They're just doing nothing to me. No match for me. not had a swarm do anything to me since that patch before the patch they were overpowered because they would hit you constantly like they hit you like five times as they walked by but now they do just nothing we're still in combat with who oh i'll rip you apart royal vestibular guard this guy will do something and grace. Mm, it's fast healing, power attack, it's no resist. Good for you, buddy. And the bad will save. Yeah, it's plus 10, actually. It's his best save. Still fail.
Yeah, I'll flank working. I'll get that attack of opportunity. I'll make short work of this. Surrender or else. Looks like an off shoot in this video, real quick. Do we actually have like any kind of time limit here where they're saying like you don't have enough time to search the whole place and I'm like is that true though? I haven't done the Hell Knight mission yet. No, I was gonna do that next Stab you or zap you? Why not both? I'll cut you wide open <laughs> Too late for apologies I did Ninio's quest with the uh, Nameless Ruins. Yeah, they literally just do nothing. So swarms are bugged. <laughs> Swar swarms have no effect. They're just something I have to smack for a second. So the Vesca boards ought to be really easy. The spirits demand your blood. I'll hit you. Yeah, I do know she's a Kitsune now. We just found out. I'll rip you apart. I think it's cool how her portrait changes when she changes form. I wish when you made a Kitsune, you could have like two portraits like that. That's pretty cool. Magic shirt. Okay, it's plus one dodge bonus to AC and a plus two enhancement bonus to attack and damage to unarmed strikes only a monk can wear. You have me until that last part. Body just get chucked down here. <laughs> the body just fell out of the sky. You won't stop us. I like the little subtle things that have been going on in the game that like hint at our problematic nature. Like when you rest at the end and a bunch of demonic bodies just appear in the end and no one mentions it, but it happens. Or like you find a severed head in your inventory, like. I'm wait I can't wait to get to the near the end of the game and find out what the hell is going on with that, you know? The first time I saw the demons show up in the end, I thought it was a glitch, but it happened on the second playthrough too, and now I'm like, okay, what is this about? You are today's sacrifice. Go for their heart. Oh no, the swarm is doing nothing to me. <laughs> Time to share your treasures. This is a little sad that the swarms don't work. I will see to your demise. The Vesca War area would have been cool if they actually did something. No match for me. I don't think it's necessarily about me choosing a demon option. I think it might have to do with the fact that like the demons put you here that wound in your chest and like the the thing that they showed you at the end of act one where like the demons are the ones that brought you to canabras in the first place i think we're somehow part of the demons plan whether we end up working out for them or not you know like there's there's some kind of tie between us and the demons cover me all right i won't let you hurt my friends myself we're now.
So yeah, back to my other question. Like, so do we actually have some kind of time limit here or can we actually search this whole area and not worry about it? Because they act like we don't have time to search everything. And like, uh, like, is it going to result in like our, one of our teams having issues? I don't know. Because like, theoretically someone's acting as bait up there. Although we didn't choose like an army to do it or anything. We chose a, a named NPC. But... I don't know. Out of my way. Stab your zap you. Why not both? Beg me to stop. Oh my god, they just keep coming. You are today's sacrifice. Can't get out of combat. You know, we don't need tactical. They're, they're not actually fighting back. Go for their heart. Let's make this faster. Oh, okay. So they do work in 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 real time. They only don't do anything in tactical mode. Interesting. Yeah, we're immune to nauseated because of my um delay poison. Maybe I'll try and play this in real time with pause so that the enemies actually have a chance to do something. Can we retreat already? No match for me. I guess they're doing a little bit of damage now. Music of the Abyss. They're still alive when the swarm ate a move. I had a few saves there too against Confusion. Good. Oh, Crusade's losing morale. Look at that. Our current morale is negative 41? Our morale was positive when we started. It, how fast is it dropping? Holy shit. So I guess we can't just explore in here. Our morale has just gone to shit. We've barely even been in here that long. This is just gonna tank my morale, huh? Damn it. That sucks. Let's have some fun. Distract them for me. I'm sure the big guy actually. <laughs> More bodies falling in from up above. Oh, he succeeded. Music of the Abyss. 
Troops up there are finding it harder and harder to fight. The lives of the soldiers versus the values left by your wayward caravan. Perhaps it's worth a trade. Each minute you spend searching for loot, the bait troops suffer heavy losses. Alright, we need to just run. We gotta find the queen. I think is I don't even know where the queen is. And like, I'm already here, I might as well grab the loot. But they're like... No, you're looting over saving your troops. We're down to negative 46. I welcome your company. Yes? Alright, let's book it. Like, I don't know how to do this much faster, honestly. Cover me, all right? Unless you know which way to go to the queen, then Stand you can do it faster. I'll make short work of this. I put it back in turn base most of the try to be more efficient with my turn so I can get this done and not lose all my morale, but I don't know if it's actually based on time and turns I take or if it's based on like me picking up loot. You you think it's based on me grabbing the loot? We'll find out. My army may suck by the time I get back up there. Bottom of the canyon is split by a narrow crevice. About one stride across its, at its widest. It's easy enough to jump over in places you can step across. The obstacle doesn't seem a problem, or even particularly notable. But as you draw closer, you hear a terrible droning sound coming from the crevice. It seems to be howling, as if it's alive. Look into the crevice. You stare into the darkness of the void, trying to make out where the strange sound is coming from. Not all at once, but your eyes pick out the contours of a body in the darkness. Someone small, perhaps a gnome, a halfling, or a child, rolled up into a ball at the bottom of the chasm. Under a stone ledge, he's crouched down, his head to his knees, and he's... Oh, wow, there's someone hiding down there. Try and get him out. No, oh, no, we failed. Oh! You clamber down to the crevice to tie the halfling with a rope. You try to pull him up for when he for a while he doesn't resist. But it doesn't help either. And as he dangles helplessly like a puppet, but suddenly in the middle of the ascent, one of the basketballs in his eye socket moves abruptly. The halfling screams and spasm as hits his head on the stone cliff. We're now pulling up a dead body. Shit. Well, so much for that. Keep moving. This is probably the right way then. Is that the queen? Yeah, okay. Inspection check failed, huh? 25 spell resist. 360 XP. It's huge. Right. I will see to your time. Right? I found the queen. You're not gonna knock over a flying creature. Also, we should be raging. Um, I put her to sleep. All right, past your save. I'm kind of glad she did. It always sucks when bosses fall asleep to slumber. Some of our Archon's Aura up. I mean, they're like, like, we made it here before Archon's Aura fell off. Like, we weren't that slow. 
Um. Does she have any DR? No. Good prayer. Oh, and Nevia's here. Go ahead and move up. Everybody's in the freebooter thing. Maybe not Wolgif. Let's freebooter bond. And hell, it's a boss, so I don't think it's gonna last that long, but still. Um, the spirits demand your blood. Good thing I put on the mirror images. Just took three of them. Now you have full five attacks. Ooh, that crit for 40. And it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk. Going pretty good, Kara. How's it going, man? Unleashing her last shriek, the Swarm King Queen slumps to the ground. Immediately, as if by magic, the distant sounds of battle begin to subside. Several small beasts sit on their mother's body, sinking in their mandibles into it. The canyon drowns in the waves of sweet, of a scent, a sweet soporific with a hint of bite, with a cackle, crackle in the air before a swarm. So I've heard if you want to get the, the swarm thing, you have to kill her and then like, I don't remember what you do. You do like some like experiments on it or something? Like eventually you come back and get to find a new queen later. But I remember someone said something about you had to not have brought Queen Galfrey with you, and I don't even know how to refuse that. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't look into it much because I'm not planning on doing the swarm yet, but it's something to do with the Vescovores. Looking at the slain monster for a brief moment, you feel an inexplicable sensation of, not sympathy, no. The Vescovore Queen is disgusting, but a strange kinship. What is it like to be part of a swarm, hostile to all life, hating everyone and hated by everyone? Take a deep breath and the sensation passes. Not this time, Hulk. Nebbia approaches the swarm queen's body. Her face exp clearly expresses a desire to kick the dead beast, but she refrains. Just like a, just a brainless bug, and so many of our people died because of her. Just yesterday, I was sitting by the fire with some of the people the swarm devoured. Suddenly, Anevia stops. Her nostrils flare and her eyes scan the floor and the walls of the canyon. She squats, pokes at some lumps of slimy substance, lifts some, some up to look more closely, smells them, and cringes. You smell it too, right? The suspiciously familiar stink. Aha! Anevia rubs a ball of greenish slime in her hand. I bet my life that your gear had this nasty stench when we were entering the canyon. I saw the queen bugs spraying it around to summon her spawn to her. See if we can find the source of the smell among my equipment. Perfumed handkerchief. You and Anevia search through your things and quickly find the source of the smell. A thin handkerchief. Looks like it's been soaked in something, like the Swarm Queen's slime. I'll be damned. When the Queen was spraying this sweet smelling goop around, the swarm flew to it like flies to jam. The chewed up bodies of the caravaners smell like this too. I checked. Commander, I think some rat planted that handkerchief on you to ensure the Vescovores would find you. Hulk's been tagged for assassination already. Our commander's all grown up. Despite his airy tone, Darren looks discom discomfited. Um, I thought this crusade couldn't get any worse, but now we have a mysterious traitor who's trying to feed us into a swarm of repulsive insects. Hmm. Seeing as you're not going to answer, Darren shrugs indifferently. The demons did this. They placed a swarm in our way and I made sure I couldn't avoid the ambush. 
Looks like I have enemies in Mendev and someone's decided to get rid of me. True, nobody likes upstarts. If you knew what Erebus allies hissed behind her back when she was appointed head of the Eagle Watch. Anyway, we need to keep our eyes open. That handkerchief could have been planted here by magic, but take it from a professional paranoiac. I think we've got a rat in our camp. In Canabras, we squashed the cultists time and time again. They were like maggots in a dead hog. Some could have infiltrated our forces too. We have to keep our eyes open and our guard up. It's time we got back to our people. I say we destroy the queen's body. I've heard the little bugs who eat the flesh of their mother can be reborn as swarm queens themselves. That kind of that's kind of the last thing we need, right? Burn the body, but gather as much of the swarm queen the queen's slime as you can. Keep it a secret from the troops in Dresden. We'll send in a suicide unit. Wait for the demons to gather their forces and then bring in the Vescovores. We'll return this gift to those who would destroy us with it. You want to make a weapon out of the demon bug shit? Seriously? Better think about this. We have no way to control the swarm. What's that mean? It means the soldiers we send into battle with a barrel this month will be the first to be eaten. That's not even a suicide mission. It's a dirty trick like only the cultists do. We're crusaders. I know an order is an order. I'll go gather this stuff up. I don't mind, but think about it. Is this the way you want to fight? Will you still be able to look at your people in the eye? <laughs> Good. You've been trying to avoid the spoilers and take your time? How far are you in it, Kerry? Nevia, Commander, what a relief. You're alive. I saw the swarm begin to thin and ran to you immediately. Pauses to catch your breath. There are many dead and wounded. To be honest, I feared the whole army was about to scatter. We've been in the whirlwind for such a short time, we've already run into so much trouble. But what matters is that it's over. And war losses are inevitable. You need to be prepared for that. Oh dear. What are we going to do now? So the first act, you only played a few hours a day because your laptop heats up? That makes sense. Since you're here, please take out, take a look around. I found some painted runes. Traces of something that smells like, smells like a ritual. We need to figure out what this is. I mean, yeah, you think? Might be a ritual with a giant magic circle on the ground. Painted in blood. Just, just maybe. Ha! Easily done. Here are leans over the magic symbols painted on the stone. I'm no mage, unfortunately. But I'm in the habit of thoroughly documenting all descriptions of rituals and symbols from magic books, especially demonic ones. Someone very recently opened a portal to the abyss here and summoned someone. Not difficult to figure out who they summoned. She's lying dead right there. I can guess who carried out the ritual. Handwriting is unique, even when it comes to runes. I examined the Great Garrison after your success, documenting everything I found for Queen Galfrey. I'm sure the hand that drew the rune circles was the same in both instances. The work of the same spellcaster. Clever, set a trap and exhaust us instead of finding us openly. We shouldn't be afraid of demons. We lived through this little trap, didn't we? We'll overcome the next one, too. We just need to keep forging ahead. Well... Since we finished off the swarm, we know someone is giving us trouble. I suggest we get out of here. I'm done with bugs. Okay. So we can still search here. Down. Move, down. Move out. Now we can loot without everybody being like, Oh my god, you're looting, but everyone's dying. I wonder how bad our morale is now. <laughs> Let the duel commence. It'll be good when we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> I'm already enjoying the fact that I'm going to be a lich eventually. Stained letter. 
There's a letter on one side of the paper, on the other, I used to draw a map of the dungeons with a mark on one spot. If anyone can help us. My name is Harkle. I'm chief of the Nasty Waves gang. Recently, we raided the Tower of Estrad in Canabras with the Norberger. With Norgorber's blessing, we took quite a haul. Oh, this is where the relics from the tower went. We hid in a reliable place with a bad reputation somewhere in the lob when everything had gone. We were celebrating our success when Quick, R Quick Rick appeared and choked two of our friends to death. We knew things were bad because Quick Rick was already been dead for about four hours. The old man was a drunk and his heart had failed on the steep mountain roads. Terrified, we chopped Quick Rick into pieces. A few hours later, he came for us again. He brought with him the two he killed earlier. That's when the real nightmare began. Something so bad the mind can't take it. Corpses came back to life, howling, screaming in pain and rage and killing. The way they killed. Even now, we're sitting in a cave, keeping a wall of fire burning with oil sanctified by the priests of Iomidae. The only thing separating us from the mob of walking corpses we once called friends. Praise Norgorber. We took an oil vessel with us from Tower of Estrid. It won't last another day. The heat doesn't kill us quicker. Looks like the nasty waves are done, so here's our offer. You can get to Dry River Canyon and get us out of here. We'll honestly return all the loot. We'll show you all our hiding spots, empty our pockets, confess to everything, and accept any punishment except for the gallows. If you want, we'll even sign up to be crusaders. We'd rather die, we'd rather die in the mouth of a demon than suffer here forever with our friends. I know my comrades will, and the man who planted this letter for you will have long ago escaped to the south. I beg you, here's the exact location of the place where the nasty waves are making their final stand. You have a drop of mercy and you save our souls. Harkle, honest thief, chosen chief of the nasty waves. Okay. A boulder covering a secret tunnel. I'm sure they oh! No harm, white. Right? A white? Apparently there was a bug before in the original, like they've already fixed it, where like whites in turn-based mode were like invincible because every time you moused over them, they got 10 pit points back. <laughs> so they just kept healing themselves every time you moused over them. Kind of funny bug. Oh, I'm still fatigued. No charging for me. of the spirits I am helpful am I not I lead you I'll both. cheer you on from over there it hurts kill kill tear all right go for their hearts <sighs> they'll beg me to stop in the white over there Convenient. Out of my way. Karen, oh, Karen White. I am superior! 
a cave full of undead. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Yeah, just turn off turn this discord. No match for me. Ooh, negative levels. Pay attention. What's it that? Awesome, so we can give him back about the decks. We had to steal his so that we could get improved um, to open fighting. Which is kind of funny that that works. I could I didn't qualify for improved to open fighting without 17 decks, so I put on a belt of decks to boost me up to it. So now I have improved to open fighting. I'm wondering if I lose the feat if I take the belt off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna leave that belt on forever now. <laughs> Let me draw the first blood. Might be trap, might be treasure. Destroy oh, guys. Ooh, what's this one? Garg. Another negative level. Oof. Freebooters Bane too. That's cool. What's up, Ethos? It's time. What's time? Rules are made to be broken. Sounds ominous. We only un unlimited our. Ooh. Wait, what? What? Uh, excuse me. What just happened there? They all just got back up. <laughs> okay, turn based it is. Oh my god. Okay. It didn't say anything in here as far as... I went to cast Cure Light Wounds and then they all just got up. They all just healed. It was like a, a spell went off or something almost. What's going on over here? The Wand of Zacharias. Okay, that's one of the relics. Deal with this. Three blues bond. Was that on Hulk? Okay. The dick. Um. Run them through! 
I wonder if it made me take damage. I take damage from my own spiked heavy shield when I hit people with it. Really? Is that what it does? Oh, D6 points of damage to the wielder. Okay, so there's a little bit of a downside to that awesome shield. <laughs> Notice I was like, why do I keep getting hurt so much? I'm hurting myself. Fair enough. Actually, you know what? Yeah, give negative levels to the skeletons. Freak. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Yeah! Come on, you gotta hit him. Out of my way! Choice. Get closer and closer to this thing, wand. The wand what's doing it? As soon as your fingers touch the wand, a surge of energy courses through your body. A howling choir of restless souls deafen your very thoughts. Green light pours from your eyes. It can rend soul from body if you so much as will it. The wand vibrates in your hand like it's alive, but no, it's certainly not. As you, as you realize with amazing clarity, but there's definitely something inside and it's studying you closely. Oh, I like how my character teleported over to be the one doing this. Reach out with your mind and touch the power that's hiding within the wand. Your hand clutches the wand harder and harder like it's closing around the throat of an enemy and suddenly the darkness lurking within the wand emerges and seizes your hand. It crawls through your eyes and deep into your mind. Sparks flare in the darkness. It's a firefly held gently in the hands of a young mage. Its light barely diminishes the gloom, but it's enough to see the stone walls of a dungeon. There are several others, young and battered, wizard crusaders holding magic wands, all showing signs of recent battle. You hear a rumble from above, followed by a furious demon shriek. The mage just rise, preparing for another fight. A tall figure arises before them. Master Zacharias, you're alive! The mage towering over his apprentices is pale. His clothes are covered in blood. His voice is dull and dispassionate. The newfound sanctuary has fallen. You have fulfilled your duty. Now leave. This battle is, this is my battle, not yours, tell them. The apprentices, baffled, turn around to the young man holding the firefly. Today I die and leave my friends. Take my wand and deliver it to Tanavris. In the hour of greatest need, let a worthy crusader return it to me. I will know that my brothers need me, and I will rise to their aid. Even in death, I will not stand in my way. The, de even death will not stand in my way. Is this going to be the lich thing? Set free the horrifying thing hiding inside the wand. A tiny shadow emerges from the darkness of the cave, lands on your arm. It's a shaggy death's head moth, one of Ergothoa's favorite animals. That's my god. 
This is a good sign. The goddess is pleased with your decision. Receive the wand of Zacharias. Your senses grow exceedingly sharp. You see not only the miserable corpses that litter the cave, but many others have found their end among these dark stones. All of them stare up at you with horror. A scream leaves your lips, and they cannot but obey. By force of will, you end the existence of these pathetic and powerless creatures and return them to oblivion. The mere sound of your voice is enough to summon all semblance of soul from the helpless puppets. They explode, bursting into tiny sparks of spiritual energy. The green light fades as quickly as it arose. The fire of dead quiet their howls. The power slips away even as every part of your body protests against it. You vividly realize how fragile and fickle mortal flesh is. Once we made some more friends. They are also whites. Um, we actually have Ellie as well. That felt lich-ish, but it didn't mention the lich path at all, so maybe not. Okay, then it just ends. <laughs> sure. Helm of Rosia. Everybody's adornments. This massive knight's helmet once belonged to a hell knight. There's a dent from a powerful blow on the bottom edge of the rear plate. Cool. Elven curved blade. Vermin Bane Elven Curve Blade, plus two. And full plate. Heavy as shit. Ooh, cool. See you later, Golden Dragon. Have a nice night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Immunity to bleed. One well, more thing to be immune to, I guess. Furman Bane. Akeem plus two short spear. Composite plus three with bleed. Whenever the wielder of this plus three bleed composite shortbow confirms a crit with it, the enemy suffers a stacking minus one penalty to AC till the end of combat. Well, that's just a straight up upgrade to what she's already using. She just has a regular composite plus three. Yeah, I remember I can drop it here, not there. <laughs> so I haven't found any good throwing axes. Very sad. The one weapon I want to use, I can't find. First peel off? First peel off? Oh. This helmet, apparently, we can't wear it. And the wand is not an item yet. Maybe it's a relic we can fix or something. What do I have Finian on? Um, yeah, I found Camellia right now as a rapier. I haven't found a really good rapier yet. Loot taken by the thieves in the Tower of Vestry. We found one of the relics. 